Hello there, my food porn perverts. Welcome to another edition of Food Porn Friday. Today, we're going to make this delicious Mexican tater tot casserole. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Here is what you are going to need for your Mexican tater tot casserole. The most important component is, well, obviously the tater tots. Now, I've chosen to get two 32 ounce bags of tater tots because, well, we're gonna be using a big baking pan. And if we have some leftover, that is okay. Another thing you're going to need is the taco seasoning mix, a 16 ounce can of refried beans, a 3.8 ounce can of sliced black olives, 28 ounces of enchilada sauce, hot, medium, or mild. This is actually gonna be your teeter tot casserole, so you can have it as mild or as hot as you want. Four cups of sharp cheddar cheese, and you can also have ground beef, ground turkey, but I have chosen to have pureed chicken, which will be the same consistency as beef which I will show you a little later on on how to do. So now we're gonna get this party started and put it all together. The first thing we're gonna do is that we're gonna start grounding our chicken like hamburger. As you can tell in this little container over by my little mixer, which will be a very important component, is the marinated chicken that I marinated overnight. Now you can use marinade like from a package or make your own homemade marinade. I chose to make my own homemade marinade. And what you want to do is that you want to marinate this chicken overnight so it has a nice flavor for your Mexican tater tot casserole. So I'm putting all the chicken in the blender so that way we can make sure that it is nice and grounded, just like so. Or maybe we should just do this in batches because you never know what might happen. And then we're gonna add a little bit of the marinade into the chicken. Just like so. And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna hit the liquify on high. And now we're gonna do that to the rest of our chicken. And now on to our next step. You remember this chicken right here that I pureed in the blender, right? Well, now we're gonna put this in a preheated skillet on medium high, and we're gonna cook it just like we would beef. So if it is still white, that is okay. This is because it's poultry that we're cooking here. And since poultry cooks, it's still gonna be white. But once it is nice and white, that's when you know it's done. Our chicken has been cooked to perfection and all the extra fat has been drained off. Now, you remember this stuff that I showed you earlier? This is gonna be a very important component into our meat mixture. And we're going to sprinkle it on the whole package along with two thirds of a cup of water. And we're gonna put this on, once again, medium high heat, and we're gonna let this cook for about 15 minutes. Now that our bean enchilada sauce and chicken mixture is done, this is the fun part, we get to assemble.
product before it goes into the oven. I have preheated the oven to 350 degrees and we're going to bake this for about 45 minutes. And here it is my food porn perverts, my Mexican tater tot casserole. If you want to know how you can make this, I have included directions in the description box below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing on my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Also, if you would like to keep up with my latest Instagram post, check me out on Instagram every single Friday where I feature the latest food porn of the week. Well, I am signing off for now, but I will see you beautiful people on Monday.